one one concept I talk about that's relevant here in Fossil Future and in chapter 11, I talk about breaking the moral monopoly of the case for eliminating fossil fuels. And it's it's really for, for a decade plus had this, what I call moral monopoly, as in if you believed in rapid elimination of fossil fuels, you just automatically got a halo over your head. You were just viewed right. as a great person. And, it's, and, and there was no debate, right? There was no real moral debate about, oh, maybe you're doing the wrong thing. It's just, no, you're doing the right thing. There might be a question of, are you a little too aggressive in your idealism? But there was never any fundamental question in most people's minds. And now people are starting to realize for a variety of reasons, including some of, I think, the good work people on our, what I would call team human have done, but then also, <laughs> also events have played a big role where people can say, wait a second, pursuing these policies can actually be deadly. It can right. actually lead to people being unable to afford food. It can lead to blackouts. It can lead to not being able to air conditioning buildings in the summer, as we've seen in Spain and other places. It can lead to blackouts, as I've seen here in California and many Texans have right. seen. So right. people are are open to the idea, wait a second, uh, fossil fuels may have benefits that we need to consider when making decisions. And we can't just blindly say, they have side effects we don't like, so let's just get rid of them as quickly as possible. That itself could be a wrong position and a very deadly position. And I think that that breaking of the moral monopoly is starting to happen then opens people's minds up to, oh, wait, maybe may, maybe some of these pro-fossil fuel people are really onto something. So it's I think it's intellectually, it's positive. Now we're nowhere near where we need to be, but it's it's yeah. way different than it was four years ago.